Hey y'all, what's up? This your girl, Comatic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Hello. If you're new, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what Spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine, also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over, okay? I literally have to re-record this message or whatever. I tried to record it, and then it accidentally stopped, so I'm re-recording this message, but... Anyways, today is Monday. Happy Monday, you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and pray before we get started. All right. I hope you guys are doing well on this Monday. I'm trying to get you guys a couple of messages out because I'm probably going to be busy tomorrow morning. So just tomorrow in general. I don't know. I'll just see how the day goes. But I'm multitasking right now. I'm literally cooking steak and salad. Well, I already made the salad uh, and baked potato. That's what I'm doing. So I might have to stop to check on my food. I'm making dinner for my babies. But the song download that I was getting, we're finna go ahead and pray. But I was hearing that song by Keisha Cole. Baby, you change, you change, you change. You got dough and change. You got dough and you change. Baby, you change. It was. So I feel like basically what I'm hearing is in side note, I'm sick of motherfuckers talking about Keisha Cole on social media. I feel like it's just a publicity stunt. I don't feel like Keisha Cole gives a fuck about none of them young niggas. I don't think she give a fuck about an old nigga. Maybe she do. I feel like she just doing all of that shit. For publicity. I feel like she's trying to sell out shows and concerts. She's trying to stay relevant. Like, I don't really feel like she give a fuck about Honcho or anybody. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she do. But um, I'm picking up on her song. Uh, what was that? What was that album that she had? The Way It Is? If you want to get over a heartbreak, listen to Keisha Cole. It could be real depressing. She real depressing if you ain't going through no heartbreak. But if you in pain and you, I don't care if you a man or a woman, listen to fucking Keisha Cole. You'll get over a heartbreak real fast. Okay. I fuck with Keisha Cole, but yeah, I'm hearing this song by her, Baby You Changed. The download that I was getting was like, I feel like somebody betrayed you for money. Cause like in the song she says, I remember like yesterday, the very day I met you. That's the beginning of the song. I'm trying to think of the second verse. Well, that's the chorus, baby. You you got dope and you changed. Yeah, somebody, bro, this is crazy. And it's I don't think the enemy want me to get this out. Somebody don't want me to get this out because I don't even think it's necessarily necessarily the enemy. I'm channeling right now. Somebody is embarrassed to come back to you or somebody is embarrassed to apologize to you, male or female. So divine masculine, divine feminine, hold on, let's pray. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, I ask you to sing your greatest white light and please give me clear and precise messages. Protect my crown chakra, protect my throat chakra, protect my heart chakra, protect me from any harm or entity that does not want me to speak Excuse me, that does not want me to get messages out. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the love and the protection in the messages. Again, so divine masculine. I feel like you could have been married to a karmic feminine, okay? A Jezebel, a hoe. You could have paid all the bills. You could have did everything for this woman, and you didn't have enough money for her. Or maybe this is something that never got off the ground. But no, Spirit is saying maybe that could be the reason this relationship didn't get off the ground. This woman rejected you because you didn't have a lot of money, divine masculine. But I'm hearing this particular message. You guys were actually in relationship relationships with these people you were married to these people or you had children with these people divine master you you wasn't bringing in enough money even though you was paying all the bills even though you was doing everything this bitch is ungrateful so she decided to cheat on you with your homeboy she decided to cheat on you with your friend or she decided to cheat on you with some random nigga that had more money than you that had more clout than you that's what i'm hearing Somebody got betrayed. I'm even hearing divine feminine. This could be for you. This nigga could have chose somebody, a Jezebel. Somebody married a hoe or somebody got into a relationship with a hoe. They already had a divine feminine, but maybe you didn't have much money. You wasn't, you know, you wasn't fake enough. You know, a lot of these dudes, they'll say they want a good woman when they really want a hoe. They want an image. A lot of these dudes want an Instagram model and that don't fucking exist. What do these Instagram models look like without makeup? 
without hair, without, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not bragging on myself. I'm not saying I'm better than nobody, but I look just about the same with makeup or without makeup. I have blemishes. I'm not going to lie. You understand what I'm saying? But for the most part, I'm, I, I'm naturally pretty and, and, and I look good with we in, in makeup and hair and I have my hair. I'm just using it as an example. Like a lot of these dudes be in love with it. They want something that's not real. Like, you know, these BBLs and these fake titties and shit, that shit ain't real. You understand what I'm saying? Like these fake ass bodies and shit, that's not real. It's not natural. So I feel like that's exactly what this is. If you're a divine masculine, the woman that you, I'm hearing the man that I, the man that you're in love with, somebody could have broke up your home, broke up your marriage. I'm hearing woman, so woman, if you ever been in love, I'm always picking up on that dumb ass song. Oh, come on, y'all. Let me uh check on my food real quick, okay? Hey, cooking on the low. Look, y'all, I got some steak in um some mushrooms i love mushrooms so i had it on low so it wouldn't burn or whatever and then i had put some um i had put some baked potato in the oven but now they're just warming up in the microwave and then i have a salad <laughs> yeah i got me i got me a spinach salad um spinach tomato because i'm healthy and avocado i put in there at the bottom and red onion and olives and i'm gonna have some blueberries and some strawberries afterwards so that's my dinner so yeah i'm multitasking make sure because i like i like well done steaks I, I that's me i'm black I like a well-done steak, but I cook it on low because I don't want it to be, you know, hard. Because some people feel like well-done steaks are not, you know, they're not soft. They're not moist. They're not chewy. They're not soft. And they're not tender, in other words. Do you like banana plantains? I make banana plantains as well. Like, um, like this is not a banana. It's a plantain. It tastes like a potato. And like the longer that it sits, the sweeter that it gets. But I make plantains. Yeah, really good. But anyhow, I'm, let me cut this stove off. Hold on. Put that on top. Till we get ready to eat. But anyways, y'all yeah, had to check on that because I didn't fucking... Um, <laughs> Whew, I didn't want my food to burn but anyways you guys I feel like that's exactly what this is somebody fell in love with a superficial person like somebody already had a good man somebody already had a good woman so you know I don't know somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side I'm hearing divine masculine you could have paid all the bills like you paid everything you took care of everything <coughs> oh excuse me <coughs> my bad This is some sad ass energy. Like divine mask, and I'm even hearing somebody's homegirls, somebody's friends fucked up their relationship. Like these hoes can never stay out of y'all relationship, can never stay out of y'all business. And these bitches ain't even got a man. See, that's why I don't do female friends. It's okay to have female friends, but you know, them bitches will fuck up your relationship. I feel like whoever your baby mama, wife, ex girlfriend is, her friends fucked up her relationship. Or, they, or, or her friends didn't fuck up y'all relationship. She could have just, I don't know. She was comparing herself to her friends. I'm literally, what's wrong with y'all? I'm picking up on karmic feminists. I'm literally hearing this and seeing this in my third eye. Well, you know, Tiffany husband took her to Cancun. You know, Ashley boyfriend bought her a diamond ring. You know, well, um, uh, Sierra husband, Sierra boyfriend bought him. A, I'm hearing something about Russell Wilson and Sierra, but I'm not talking about the Sierra. I was just making up a name. But, you know, Asia, uh, Clarissa, her husband, her boyfriend bought her a, a, a Mercedes. Why you can't do that for me? See, I need a real man. Like, bitch, you got a good man. If a nigga is paying all the bills, you know how many women wish they had a man that paid all the bills? They don't make them like granddaddy no more. Granddaddy paid all the bills. And not every man that pays all the bills is abusive and controlling and violent. 
I don't know. I'm hearing somebody say you're controlling. You can I don't feel like you're controlling divine masculine. I feel like you were trying to guide somebody, lead somebody. A lot of these females don't understand the difference. And so a lot of these women will literally sit up. See, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you karmic feminines and some of you divine feminines. I love y'all cuz I'm a woman. I got you back. But sometimes I got the men back cuz sometimes these men be right. A lot of y'all do too much. Keep these hoes and these bitches out your your home, girls. Keep these bitches out y'all business because they jealous of your relationship. They jealous of your husband. They jealous of your boyfriend. And sometimes these bitches don't even be in y'all relationship. You just keep comparing. Stop comparing your life. You don't know what go on behind closed doors. And I'm definitely talking to some home records because somebody broke up somebody's marriage. Somebody's broke up somebody broke up somebody's relationship. Looking on the outside in. I'm gonna tell you something, ladies. Nine times out of ten, if you see a man smelling good, dress nice, head to toe, look good, clean cut, dreads, taper, whatever. If you see, I don't care what color he is. If you see a nice looking man dressed and smelling good, I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, not all the time, but nine times out of ten, eighty five percent, that man got a woman at home. He got a baby mama. He got a wife. He got a girlfriend. So you think this nigga is driving a nice car. You think this nigga got this and got that whole time. His car and his wife name. His car and his baby mama name. His he, Everything that he owned, everything he got. You know, some people some people will literally struggle together. You understand what I'm saying? You, can, you, you will try to steal somebody's boyfriend, steal somebody's husband. Male or female, you'll try to steal somebody from somebody not knowing that that person is taking care of everything. They're the real breadwinner. They're the real caregiver. They're doing everything. You literally just took somebody trash away. All you did was bless divine masculine, divine feminine to get the fuck out of a karmic relationship, a karmic cycle. You, you ain't do nothing but help somebody move on with their life, baby. You didn't win no prize. But I don't know what this is. That's not the root of this, this storyline. What I'm picking up on in this energy is these people are superficial. <clears throat> Divine Masculine, I'm hearing you were a good man, especially you, Divine Masculine. I feel like I'm talking about you a lot in this reading. I feel like you are a good dude. You, I mean, you know, I feel like you pay all the bills. This bitch wasn't even happy with that. I feel like sometimes you couldn't get this woman hair done because you didn't have it. Sometimes you couldn't get this woman's nails done because you just didn't have it. I feel like you could have sat this woman down and said, babe, I don't got it right now. I'll get your hair done at ne in the next two weeks. Let me handle some bit. I and now with Jeremy, Jeremy got my homegirl Keisha hair. He gets a, do you <laughs> The spirit, slow down the downloads. I'm literally seeing this in my third eye. Bitch, why is you comparing your relationship with your husband and your baby daddy to another nigga? You don't know what go on behind closed doors. Yeah, he might get Keisha hair done every two weeks and he might be her ass. You don't know what's going on. I'm hearing this is for male and female. You really don't know. Yeah, you you saw that fine, sexy ass man driving a nice car and he smelled good. You thought that was his shit. That's in his baby mama name. That's in his wife name. You thought this nigga was a real boss, a real player. Whole time he codependent. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just like I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm here, I'm picking up on a lot of finesse and energy. You karmic masculines and you karmic feminines, you need to get some game. Get your own game. Stop using your ex-husband, your ex-wives, your baby daddies, your baby mamas to run game on people. You don't have to use your ex to get a nigga or a bitch. Stop doing that. As soon as you get it, as soon as you meet a woman, yeah, you know my baby mom, my ex-wife, she wants shit. She ain't cook. She ain't clean. She ain't want to work. She ain't want to do this. She a bad mother. Yeah, my baby daddy, he a bad father. My ex-husband, he didn't take care of me. He didn't get my hair done, my nails done. He didn't do nothing for me. Whole time, divine masking, divine feminine, divine masking, you paying all the bills. Maybe one or two times you, you didn't take her out. Maybe one or two times you didn't get her hair, nails, and toes done. Bitch, you wanted the fuck because you wanted the fuck. You wanted to cheat because you wanted to cheat. The same for these hoe ass niggas. You did what the fuck you wanted to do, but because you don't got no game, because you can't get a nigga or a bitch on your own, you gotta use your ex to finesse somebody. You gotta tell a bunch of lies, and you been you hoes and niggas is getting caught up in your lies. Period. Point blank. It is what it is. I, I don't I don't know what this energy is, but I'm picking up on superficial in, uh, images. You motherfuckers be in love with superficial shit. I ain't even reading no tarot on this. I'm literally just channeling. I'm seeing this whole thing in my third eye. Yeah, a new romantic cycle begins. 
I feel like that's for you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Yeah, we have hold your vision here in the reverse. Spirit told me to flip that in the upright. One second, I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> hold on. This damn, I don't like my baby high chair <clears throat> in the camera. But any fucking ways, I was getting the download before I walked off and checked on my daughter. Whew. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, with the new romantic cycle begins and hold your vision, I feel like you finna get a new love. You finna be with the love of your life. And now your karmic ass baby mama, your ex-wife, girlfriend, baby daddy, ex-husband, boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, now they want to come back. Yeah, nothing is yet set in stone. This person could be doing spell work on you as well to block your love life. Prosperity lies ahead. I don't know. I'm picking up on somebody baby mama though. Like somebody's ex-wife, somebody was very ungrateful and unappreciative. Girl, you stupid. You know how many women, look at me, sis, karmic hoe. Do you know how many women wish they had a man pay all the bills and take care of them? I feel like you didn't even have to pay shit. You didn't even have to pay small bills. Some men pay all the majority of the bills, but they may say, baby, pay the light bill, pay the gas bill. I feel like you didn't even pay the small bills. You didn't even pay shit. And you cheat on this man. And I'm here, you wanted to fuck. This is what you wanted to do. What else? What did you want this man to do? Do a magic trick for you? F flip in the air? Do what? What did do a backflip? What? Because I feel like somebody took care of everything. I feel I feel like somebody was even willing to have orgies and threesomes. I feel like somebody didn't even want to have orgies and threesomes like that. I'm hearing somebody could have been in an open marriage or something. I feel like somebody could have fucked around and cheated around. You know, because men, men be they cheat for different shit. You know what I'm saying? They might cheat with Keisha because she cooked good. They might cheat with Tiffany because, I don't know, they just like Tiffany. They might cheat with Cassandra because, I don't know, she can help him with some business. You know, do you get what I'm saying? Niggas be, niggas be having hoes for different shit, you know? I don't know, bro. Somebody is definitely in a karmic marriage, a karmic relationship. I, I don't fucking know. Or, or, or there is a karmic relationship, a karmic marriage that's ending. I don't know. I really don't know what this is. Or somebody wants to come back to somebody and you're about to be with the love of your life. I really don't know. I really don't know what this is. I'm going to pull some tarot and we're going to go ahead and close this out because I don't want this to be a long reading. I was just doing a quick message <clears throat> to see what's going on. Damn, I got 15% anyways. This is crazy. I keep hearing Keisha Cole, baby, you changed. You got dough, dough and change. <clears throat> you got dough and you changed. Wow, this is so sad. That's basically all this is, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. This man, because this could be a man or a woman, but I'm seeing both. This man chose a hoe, a Jezebel over you. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Like when it comes to a woman, if you're not taking care of your woman, bitch ass nigga, if you're not providing and taking care of your woman, then what the fuck do you expect, you dumb ass nigga? It's whole niggas that will be in a relationship with a woman and mistreat the fuck out of her. You know what I'm saying? Don't take care of her, don't provide, but go look at the next woman and think the next woman is better than your woman. No, you stupid ass nigga. Your woman... Whoever you're in a relationship with, that's supposed to be your vagina. That's supposed to be your PSSY. So you're supposed to provide for it and take care of it. And if you don't, if you're not keeping the upkeep on your woman, she going to look a certain way. And don't get me wrong. A woman can do for herself, whether she's in a relationship or she's not in, in a relationship. But you can always tell when a woman is being mistreated, when she's not being loved on, when she's not being properly taken care of. But you got these lame ass, retarded ass niggas that will mistreat a woman at home, break them the fuck down and then go look at the next bitch and think the next bitch is better. No, my nigga, the grass is greener where you water it at. So these are y'all karmic ass exes and shit that then lost y'all, Divine Feminine. I'm speaking about you too, Divine Masculine, but I'll get back to you in a second. These motherfuckers then lost y'all, ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, baby daddy. These motherfuckers then lost y'all. Now they looking at y'all like, well, well, when, when the fuck you start looking like that? <laughs> I'm picking up on Ike Turner. <laughs> That's my dryer. Somebody could have been real abusive. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Remember when motherfucking Ike Turner, when Tina Turner was coming out the goddamn, she was performing and she came out the show and she was like, he was like, I miss you. I miss you. You know, I didn't let, I didn't let that narcotic go. Eh? 
<laughs> I miss you. I didn't gave up that knockout. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm goofy. Don't pay me no attention. Well, the record company, the record company say I owe them a bunch of money. Well, Ike, you know, you did take out a lot of loans. And <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I figure if me and you just get back together and we put out another hit record, you know, I can get the record label off my back, cut me some slack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't pay me no attention. And then she slammed that fucking door. Yeah, you done broke my goddamn window. Look what you done did. You broke my goddamn window. You messed up a brand new goddamn automobile. <laughs> so I feel like that's what this is, y'all. Even though I be joking and I be talking about movies and shit, that's what this is. This is so sad. Shut up, dryer. This is so sad, bruh. Whoever your baby mama is, baby daddy is, ex-husband, ex-wife, they abuse you. They did not appreciate you. Somebody did not realize what they had. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. Somebody went out there with them wolves and, and dark witches and warlocks, and they didn't got got. Somebody could literally be on drugs. Somebody could be selling their ass. I don't know what this is. This is what I'm literally seeing in my third eye. Spirit is showing it to me in a vision. Divine masculine, you took care of this woman. Now she didn't. She didn't got with your homeboy, your partner, your friend. She didn't got with some random nigga. He don't take care of her like you did. This nigga is talking about 50-50. She not even used to 50-50. Now this bitch got to get a job. You don't even require your women to work. You don't even like to see a woman working. It bother you, divine masculine. You don't like to see a woman working. That make you feel less than a man. But this bitch de decided to cheat it on you. She didn't know no better, Divine Masculine. She went to the club and she saw that hoe ass nigga that she was cheating, cheating on you, uh, on you with. You know, he was wearing his homeboy clothes. He he borrowed some of his homeboy money. You know what I'm saying? He was just borrowing shit from his partner. Shit, this could have been your partner. He was borrowing shit for you, from you. You didn't really let her know all your business like that. He thought she thought your homeboy was getting money like you. You know, you didn't tell your partner business. You ain't you ain't tell your friends and family what the fuck you had going on at the house. But this bitch show like to run her mouth, don't she? Divine mess. And that bitch was just running her mouth, telling her friends y'all business, telling your family members y'all business. You like got a goddamn wait. Or this bitch could have just cheated on you with some random nigga she met at the club. She just met a random strain. This nigga, this nigga wearing somebody else's clothes. He ain't really have it like that. He, the car that he was driving, it was rented. This is a 50-50 nigga. You, you somebody, yeah. You somebody that was bringing her table and your table. You don't, you don't like your women working. You like to spoil your woman. I don't know, Divine Masculine. You could be a little bit controlling, but you need to pipe down real quick. Pipe down, buddy. Because if you're trying to be with a divine feminine, if you're trying to date a divine feminine, you have to turn that the fuck down. It's okay to guide and lead you, woman, but you got to understand something. A divine feminine is headstrong. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to guide and lead your woman, but your woman got to have input too. A woman is a helpmate. A woman is also your equal. She can submit to you, but it's a difference between being submissive and submissively controlled. But I feel like a lot of these karmic ass feminines used to be tripping. Don't get me wrong, because I am picking up on some masculines that's controlling this fuck. Y'all, divine masculine, you need to stop. Just because you take care of everything. And this is why a woman likes to have her own money. So I'm also picking up here on some karmic masculines. It's a lot of these karmic masculines that like to break a woman down. They don't like independent women. They like women that they can control, that they can dangle shit by a string. And when they can't control you, when they when they can't dangle shit by uh, by a string, yeah, that's how Ike Turner was. Somebody was abusive. I'm picking up on abusive ass karmic masculines and karmic feminists, and some of y'all were abusive to each other. That's why you call it a karmic cycle, right? I've been in a karmic cycle before. We all have. We've all been karmic at one point, correct? For some apparent reason, I ain't really been reading a lot of tarot today. I just been, yes, new start in the reverse. Yeah, I just been channeling. I just been getting downloads and messages and channeling. Somebody is trying to block your new start from coming. These ungrateful ass hoes and niggas. Like real talk. Yeah, you are good enough. You deserve real love. That's why you're getting a new romantic cycle. Yeah, hold your vision. Just wait a while. Okay, just hold on. Just hold on just a little while longer. I don't even know if I'm going to read no tarot. This is just a quick message. I don't know why I haven't really been reading a lot of tarot today. I've just been getting downloads and, and channeling. I 
Hold on, y'all. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. But what I'm seeing is, is that y'all karmic exes, male and female, they're under judgment. And they have to lay their head in the bed that they made. If you made the bed, you got to lay in it. It's over. I feel like these are a lot of people that took you for granted. They stay on Instagram. They stay on social media. A lot of these men and women, they did not realize what they had. And now they want to come back to you. And now, and now they want to ruin what you got in the future. This bitch is literally stuck with a nigga. This is one of your partners or your friends, your ex-homeboys. Or this bitch is stuck with a random nigga that don't take care, take care of her like you do. And you know what? That's a good thing. A lot of you karmic feminines, I'm going to just keep it a band. A lot of you karmic feminines have been taken care of for so long. You don't even realize you, you, you don't get it. A lot of you karmic feminines have been married. If you want to be technical, a lot of y'all have been married and have been in relationships with divine, divine feminines, man. Divine feminine don't want your man. Let's put it like that. And some of these divine feminines probably do. But if you want to be technical, like these divine feminines is out here getting it on their own. And some of these divine feminines are in relationships, but they still getting it on their own. A lot of these divine feminines are real women. They not looking for a man to take care of them and spoil them. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. We like that shit too, but that's not our main priority. Our, our main priority is not being focused on a man 24 seven because we have a mission to get to. We have a mission to complete. See the most high God is putting people where they belong. Some of you karmic ass feminists are, be, are about to be forced to get a job. You need to get into the real world. You need to know what it's like to stand on your own too. Every woman needs to be provided for karmic or not. Every woman deserves to be provided for. I believe that hundred percent, but a lot of you karmic feminists, since you wanted to talk about divine feminine so bad, and say she was this and that and this and that. But when a lot of you bitches, everything you got, a nigga is providing it for you. You fucking and sucking for everything you motherfucking got. One second, my daughter, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I had to go fix the TV for my daughter. <laughs> she don't know how to say TV, TV. So she bang on the door like, help, help. <laughs> but any fucking ways, like a lot of you karmic feminines are about to be forced. Since you want to keep your mouth on divine feminine. And talk about divine feminine, because a lot of you love to keep your uh, keep your mouth on divine feminine. Now you're going to see what it's like to go through what divine feminine has gone through. Now you're going to be walking in her south node, you copycat ass bitches. Same for these divine masters. You're going to be walking in these divine masculine south node, not their north node, because y'all are a bunch of copycats. And like I said, every woman deserves to be provided for. But a lot of you bitches are ungrateful. You literally have been in relationships with good niggas that has given you the world and you thought that was the bare minimum. Now you're going to be stuck in Karmicville with the niggas that you chose, you chose over these divine masculines. Now you niggas are stuck in Karmicville with the bitches that you chose over divine feminines. You don't know divine masculine, divine feminine story. You don't know what the fuck they had to go through to get where the fuck they are now. What you think is less than, because I'm hearing people call divine feminine, divine masculine, bro. They don't got this. They don't got that. They don't look a certain way, this, that, and the third. You don't know what people go through on a daily basis. What you may think is the bare minimum, what you may think is less than, what you may think is beneath you, that may be a lot for somebody. Some people have been homeless before. I'm someone that survived homelessness. You got divine masculines, divine feminines that's homeless right now, and they still doing better than y'all, and they still look better than y'all. You got people in Airbnbs. You got people in shelters and shit. Stop judging a book by its cover. You karmics are getting, you're going to be stuck where the fuck you belong in Karmicville. You're getting karma. You mistreated these men. You mistreated these women. Now you want to come back. No. And then you got the audacity to try to block somebody new start from coming. No, you're under judgment. This shit is over. I'm finna go ahead and clear this out. Divine masculine, divine feminine, you finna be with the love of your life. Okay. And whoever these karmic couples, cause there's some karmic couples that stuck in karmic deal. They, they stuck, they competing with one person. Yeah. You the go. Didn't I do a reading about that? Divine masculine, divine feminine, you the go. And you got these karmic couples competing with you by yourself. You a single man, a single woman. This the nigga that was fucking your baby mama. This the bitch that was fucking your ex-husband, baby daddy, boyfriend, ex-wife. These motherfucking karmic ass people. Now they trying to block your shit. Please move on, bro. Somebody somebody thought somebody was better than you, divine masculine, divine feminine. They thought because this bitch looked a certain way, because she had a fat ass and some fat titties, that she was better than you. This bitch thought this nigga was better than you because he had m more money than you. But whole time, this nigga was wearing his partner friend, his, his homeboy clothes. 
He was borrowing his homeboy shoes. This nigga didn't really have shit. You was the king. You was the goat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These, <laughs> these motherfucking karmics didn't, didn't betray y'all. Y'all the whole goat. Y'all legends and icons out here. They didn't betray y'all for the help. For the, for the the peasants, the bottom feeders. <laughs> now they want to come back. No, nah, baby, you under judgment. You're going to remain that way. Stuck. Yeah. Period. Point blank. I'm gone. Yeah. We have the imp. Look. Wow. Look at this. The emperor and the motherfucking empress. The high priest and the high priest. The higher fit and the higher fit. Look. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Shh, get ready. Okay. You finna be with the love of your life or you probably already with this goddamn person. Okay, now you, now these exes want to come back after they chose the superficial lifestyle, after they fell for an illusion. I'm literally hearing this. I got to go. I'm going to feed my kids dinner, but I'm literally hearing this. Bitch, you, you thought this nigga had money that you met at the club. This nigga was wearing his partner's, his partner's clothes, his homeboy clothes and shoes. This nigga was renting his car. He ain't have as, as much money as your baby daddy, your husband. Bitch, you are ungrateful. I'm especially talking to these karmic feminines in this energy. You ungrateful ass bitches. You got a nigga that's hustling for you and providing for you. Taking care of everything. You didn't got too comfortable. You forgot what it's like out here. It's, it's, it's hard out here in the dating scene. Okay? It's real tough. So when you get somebody good, you better hold on to them. <laughs> Because you got to understand something. Ain't nobody going to love you. Ain't nobody going to love you and care for you like a real divine masculine or a real divine feminine. See, that's where y'all fucked up at. You thought you can just get another divine masculine. You thought you could just get another divine feminine. Now it don't work like that. A real man or a real woman is hard to come by. You dumb ass hoes and niggas. Now you got to lay, lay in the bed that you made. You under judgment. Peace. I'm gone, y'all.